Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 19th of June 1949, the first NASCAR race took place at the Charlotte Speedway in North Carolina. Stock car racing had its origins in the era of Prohibition, when illegal alcohol was distributed by fast cars across the United States. In order to outrun the police, many bootleggers modified their otherwise ordinary or stock cars and, over time, began to organise events and compete against one another. Mechanic Bill France Sr. moved to the spiritual home of automobile racing at Daytona Beach in Florida in 1935. He later began to organise his own stock car events, but by the late 1940s had become frustrated with inconsistent rules and unscrupulous promoters. In response, he called a meeting of influential members of the racing community at the Streamline Hotel, and on the 21st of February 1948, the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing was formed. Having been forced to delay the inaugural season due to a shortage of new cars following a rise in demand after the war, the first strictly stock race took place on the 19th of June 1949. Around 13,000 spectators turned up to the Charlotte Speedway to see 33 drivers, one of whom was female driver Sarah Christian, complete 200 laps of the three-quarter of a mile circuit. Glenn Dunaway finished the race three laps ahead of his nearest rival, Jim Roper. However, a post-race inspection found that the rear springs of Dunaway's car had been illegally modified, since this broke the fundamental rule of only racing strictly stock cars, he was disqualified and the $2,000 prize was handed to Roper. The season went on to feature a further seven races, as well as two exhibition races. Red Byron, who had finished third in the first race, went on to win the Drivers' Championship, while Jim Roper only started one other NASCAR race. Thank you.